sorry. I cannot sleep, I cannot dream tonight. I need somebody in all ways. The sick, strange darkness comes creeping in so hard. Can you change the station? Yes. Please. Um, yeah. um, can you change the station, please? Halsey is getting some serious backlash for defending her interview with The Guardian, during which she called out Iggy Azalea. During the sit-down, Halsey told the mad quote, There's a lot of people I wouldn't put on my record. Iggy Azalea? Absolutely not. She had a complete disregard for black culture. F moron. I watched her career dissolve and it fascinated me. Halsey and g Easy's breakup came out of nowhere, but we might now know why the musicians are taking some time apart. We're in a club. And you were drunk out of- If you say G-Eazy one more fucking time, I'll kick your ass out of this party. Oh, kick your ass out of this party. Kiss me. You wanna get on the ground? Who is it? It's you? Who said G-Eazy? Who's f***ing out of this? Okay, you're so f***ing up. Who's gonna disrespect me like that on my own show? I mean, I ran away from my last relationship because he couldn't accept me being black. You're black? Yeah, my dad's half. Half what? Black? Yeah, that's why my stage name's Halsey. You do know who Halsey is, right? Have you been living under a rock? She's like the best singer out. Not better than I do. Oh. You're a killer bee. I do have to take a moment and say there is a mini controversy here. Like, not not a real controversy. I don't think this ever made it to print. So Halsey was catching some slack because she impersonated Aaliyah. And I just have to say this is probably the dumbest drama I've ever heard of in my entire life. Yes, Aaliyah was a black woman. No, it's not offensive to have long curly hair and a similarly sparkly top and pose like Aaliyah. This is not even close to blackface or blackfishing. Again, there weren't really that many people calling her out for this, but I did see it and just please be so for real right now. Not to mention, uh, this is Halsey's dad. Uh, she has black ancestry, but anyways. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Maya and I'm so happy you're here. Welcome for New Year on Hair. Why isn't this focusing? Thank you. If you're new around here, I post vlogs, series, great with me's, and a little bit of everything between us. If you're into that, of course, like, comment, subscribe, follow me on social media. When I post what I'm about to film or what I'm about to upload on my social media. So you don't like surprises, then follow, subscribe, say hey, hi, hello, how you doing? This is another in defense video, and this is also another in defense video that I have been planning slash waiting for. But we're gonna do it in defense of Halsey, cause y'all keep playing with my girl, and I don't like it. I don't like it. If you don't know who Halsey is, she is a artist. I don't know what genre she falls into, I guess, alternative, because she does dabble in like pop rock, rock, a little bit of rap. Listen, her first for Die For Me, that's rap. Okay, no, no, no. Um, she's from New Jersey, and she came up around 2014 slash 2015. Her album, Badlands, literally took over Tumblr. Like, if you were on Tumblr in 2015, you were not... You did not, you could not escape Miss Halsey. You could not escape the, you were red, you liked me. Cause I was blue, head assery. But since 2015, as much as Halsey has released some manga albums, she has gotten in some controversy. And we're gonna talk about the times where maybe, maybe, maybe it wasn't all her. Okay, so let's get into it. Let me pull up my notes first. This is so unprofessional of me. Oh my lord. Okay, so 2015, again, this is when Halsey was coming up. She had the album Batlands that was released in like September, summer 2015, but she also had an EP called um, Room 93 that came out around 2014. So she was already well known that like, she was opening for artists like already, but 2015 was like, I feel like this is like the big like blow up year for her. But there was an interview that she did where she was a labeled as try by so halsey identifies as bisexual biracial and also struggles with bipolar disorder and that was so like people blamed her when it was the journalist like people thought halsey went in and said put me as try by yeah yeah and i also feel like since she was all known there was a video of her blowing up as well where she's singing in a mozzie mozzie was born in this video she's singing in a mall i don't know what song she's covering 
but people were like, this bitch can't sing, and yada, 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 yada. Well, there's a thing called lessons and help and growing up. You know what I mean? Um, the try by thing, was it cringy? Yes. Was it Halsey? No. Then, um, later in 2015, she had a song with fucking Justin Bieber. That's how big she was. And also, she opened up for The Weeknd. Don't play with my girl. And the song with Justin was called The Feeling. Um, and there was a performance on Today's Show where people thought they were dating. They also thought that they were twins because they were both with the buzz blonde cut. And Hailey Bieber, you know, Justin Bieber's wife, not at the time, but currently, she like posted a Snapchat of her, which the feeling had came on, and she was like, um, can you turn it please? And then Halsey posted a video where she was like, um, can you turn it down please? Like, this was so fucking stupid, and I don't know why people bring it up. Like, it's funny haha -ha, now, but it is just so fucking stupid. Like, I don't think either of those girls even remember or like think about this moment, like, nine years later. Then we go on to 2016 where a Twitter account had posted a bunch of photos of Halsey going into the crowd and kissing her fans. Now if you don't know what Halsey does when she performs at like a show or anything like that, during like the last song that she performs usually it's Is There Somewhere and Now It's Without Me and wonder if that's going to change. She will go into the crowd and just kind of like interact with fans, hold their hand, smoke their blunt, take their phone, whatever, whatever. But what she used to do, she would go into the crowd, sing with the fans, and also kiss some fans. People were concerned if she was kissing underage fans. Now at this point, Halsey was around like 20 years old, so a legal adult. And there's no guarantee that every fan that Halsey is seeing is 20 or even the age of 18. We are calling her weird. PDF file, yada yada yada. Now obviously since getting called out, Halsey has not done that anymore. Then we go on to her comments about being anti-pop, basically saying that she doesn't want to be called a pop artist, um, and somehow that also caught a bunch of controversy. I also think she compares herself to like Kendrick Lamar and Lady Gaga. Um, it, that's just pre-frontal lobe development. That's just a lack of PR training. Like, I don't tell you. But 2017, oh boy, this was a this was an interesting year. Now, she came up with her second album, Hopeless Fountain Kingdom, which is a banger. Maybe I'm biased because that album release party was the first time of me seeing Halsey, but it is a banger. I just listened to it today, and I literally forgot how much I love this fucking album. For some reason, I'm going through a time lapse of listening to albums with a in 2017. I listened to Beach House 3. Um, I have nothing to say. I don't know what to say about that album. Um, they listened to Hope Is Fountain Kingdom, and I was like, how does this still sound so fucking good in 2017? And it's a banger, has many features. One of the features is Quavo from the Migos. And around this year, the Migos in general, like Take Off, Quavo, Offset, were all being accused of being homophobic slash transphobic because someone said a slur they didn't want to allegedly perform with Katy Perry because she was having a bunch of drag queens and just LGBT people on her stage and I guess they didn't fuck with that. And you know what? Listen, as someone who's part of the black community, we don't, it's so fucking weird. Because how is it that a literal freaky weird uncle is allowed around a child and everybody is aware of how weird and freaky he is, but let somebody be gay and... It's just whatever. So for Halsey, who identifies as bisexual, like I said earlier, to have somebody who was accused of being homophobic, she basically was trying to defend herself by being like, hey, um, I, uh, I didn't see him in the studio. You know, we're not friends like that. Yada, 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 yada. But wow, um, that was fun. And then around the promo from this album, once again, she called out Iggy Azalea, Demi Lovato, and Katy Perry. Funny enough, Katy Perry, Migos performance. Mm -hmm. So she called out Demi and Katy for having songs cool for the summer and I kissed a girl because the two pop stars publicly only had heterosexual relationships and Halsey, like the beginning of her career, she had music videos, music videos of her like kissing girls, yada yada yada. So she basically was just like, I don't like the fake queer baiting shit like no that's not cool but later on in that summer uh katie halsey and demi took a photo together and they were on the set for uh ty dollar sign something new video with Wiz khalifa so 
I think the beef has squash. Don't know about Katy Perry, but Katy Perry is a weird Republican, so who knows any beef with her is soft, right? But then we have Iggy Azalea. Iggy Azalea, oh boy, where do I even start with Miss Iggy, Miss, what's her real name? Anthemist? That's not how you say it, whatever. Basically, Miss Halsey, who was biracial, but she's white passing. I don't know, that's important, but I feel like that's, that is important. Basically said that watching Iggy Azalea's career like dissolve was satisfying to her. Because around this point, no shade, but a little bit of shade. Iggy's career wasn't as booming as it was like back in 2014. Where like you would put on like a rapper um, pop radio station and like hear her but, like a different song. I feel like at this point... Like, Iggy was kind of, like, on the low. 2018, she had her comeback. But people were so angry at Halsey. But it's so funny because years later, Iggy defended Tory Lanez. People were like, okay, she's a weirdo. Uh, no, we don't support you anymore. But granted, I I feel like everybody, majority of people, didn't support Iggy. Anyways, they just wanted to fucking hate on Halsey. Then, homegirl. Listen, I love Halsey to death. That's twin right there. But... Went on to dates, G Sleazy, as the fan base calls him. There's a lot of nicknames for him. I personally call him Slender Man, because he walked past me one time, and he's so tall, skinny, and he was wearing all black, that I literally thought that Slender Man was in the fucking crowd. So I'm just calling him Slender Man, but y'all know who I'm talking about. If you know, you know. If you don't, um, I'll put a photo up, trigger warning for my fellow Halsey fans. I'm sorry. Look at that. It's gone. But at this point, when it was announced that they were dating, people were a little bit confused because the mass majority of people thought that g Easy was dating Lana Del Rey. And somehow, again, the blame goes on to Halsey. Listen, as somebody who's literally dated a fucking cheater um, and has heard all the lies that this man has told me before he even started fucking dating, when a man wants to cheat, he will come up with a whole fucking story beginning middle and in conclusion just to get in bed with you or just to do anything with you so who knows what g easy told miss hall slay but it's not i feel like it's not always the girl's fault it's not always it's the man they're just man at the end of the day you really like hello like hello they also released a song called him and i which i am begging my fellow halsey fans once again to stream the fuck out of any other song to get that song off of her top songs. And listen, listen, that wasn't my playlist at 1.2. I fully would have a jump scare when that song will play because it's a beautiful song when it's just her. But we need to know. No. Um, 2018, let's hop over to a year later. Halsey was on the Hopeless Mountain Kingdom tour and she was staying at a hotel. And the hotel wasn't meeting up to her satisfactions. So she went on a rant talking about hotel shampoo and how it is not good for curly hair. Now, once again, Miss Halsey is biracial. She is bypassing. I will acknowledge that. She does have a little bit of a texture. Texture here. She does have a little bit of a curl. A little bit of wave, if you will. And people were like, first of all, you're so rich. And you could have brought your own shampoo. You could have done this. You could have done that. Well, she didn't. So now what? So now what? And also, I guess she had previously spoken about the fact that when she was at a um, mental health hospital, that the shampoo there also wasn't great for curly hair. I could fully vouch for that. Because listen, 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 listen. Um, just because someone is white passing, they that doesn't mean you don't have curly hair. Just because somebody is white passing doesn't mean that their hair texture doesn't get knotted or this, that, and the third. Doesn't mean, like, her hair may need the same attention as somebody who was fully black, yada, yada. Like, there's different hair types, different, whatever. But listen, some hotel shampoos be given Dollar Tree quality, okay? They, they, they oof, 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 yeah, yeah. It's called raising awareness of the platform, bitch. Get into it. Um, we hop over to 2020. I don't think anything really happened in 2019 besides the fact that Without Me was everywhere and she was teasing Manic. Literally today, there was like a throwback where it was like five years ago. We found out the full track list for Manic. Yada, yada, yada. What a time. What a time. What a time. Um, in 2020, Halsey was doing a performance. Um, I think it was like around the Super Bowl. Like it was some sort of like performance leading up Super Bowl. And... There was somebody in the crowd who I guess kept shouting G-Eazy to which Halsey responded 
like if you don't stop screaming g easy I'm, I'm gonna kick you out you're not gonna harass me at my show and of course once again the media was in a rough up war basically saying that halsey went too far she shouldn't have reacted like that she should have had like been more professional listen she was at a job and she was at work now allegedly g easy abused halsey i say allegedly because um i feel like listen i love halsey again and i feel like she's spoken about this before but i feel like i say allegedly just in case somebody trusts me and yeah um so imagine you just got out of this toxic abusive relationship also he cheated on her also he cheated on her and you know you're finally free you're moving on you're listening to new album you're on tour and somebody comes into your job and continues to scream your ex's name you would yeah it's not it's not pretty it's not fun and it's also not okay because that's low-key harassment and halsey went on instagram story basically defending herself which i feel like she didn't need to defend herself because that was an ex that abused and cheated on her allegedly but i would have been sick too i would have thrown the microphone at him and what about it actually i wouldn't do that because i don't want to go to jail but then later on in 2020 halsey decided to cut herself some braids and again, this caused a big upward of whether or not Halsey is really black, if she should be wearing braids, if her wearing braids is okay, that, that, oh my god. The erasing people's blackness is just so irritating to me. It's just so irritating to me. Like, I just don't like it. I just don't like it. Yes, she's white passing, but her dad is still black. Shut up. The last thing that has to do with Halsey and her blackness, Halsey attended some black lives matter protests um here in los angeles and although she did help some people and she did use her platform for good there's this tweet it's not funny but without context you wouldn't understand what the fuck she's talking about but yeah shout out to halsey because i feel like even if you're not a black person attending black lives matter protests and speaking out about black lives matter that like please do we need as many voices as we can we hop over to 2021 where halsey is promoting her newest album by hannah love i want power and around this time she was also pregnant with her son and the album cover you know it is interesting um it's her on like a throne with one boob out one tata if you will and people you know women can't express themselves women can't show their bodies I don't think this is a really big controversy, but every now and again, I do see an album, a what? I do see a tweet about this album cover, and people are like, was this really necessary to have her view about with a child out that wasn't even hers? Ah, uh, ah, uh, okay, I don't. <sighs> Y'all annoy the fuck out of me sometimes. We hop over to 2021, where she is in the midst of the tour for the album, and she is teasing on her social media that she has a song called So Good. That is about her current pa partner, a live a leave how do you say this man's name i mean does it matter and basically she's on tiktok talking about her label and saying that the label will allow her to release the song without good promotion on tiktok and this sparked a conversation of whether or not labels are more pushing for songs that fit tiktok or fit the radio or fit both but regardless a few days later it was announced that the song and the music video for the song came out featuring Halsey and her then partner Olive. And then it was announced later on that she just split from, I think it was Capitol Record. She split from them, which is a good thing. However, where was the promotion for the great impersonator? Because no tea, no shade. I only really saw it on her Instagram and the scavenger hunt she did. Where was the label? Then, like, And then they posted, like, hello, wait, okay, let me just not. <laughs> yeah. Okay, 2023. The show Swarm. Swarm? Swarm? swarm swarm that's how i say that fucking word premiered on amazon prime you don't know what swarm is first of all how did you miss that diva i didn't even have amazon prime at that point and yet i knew what the fuck the show was about the show was about a girl who is severely obsessed with the artist that is allegedly inspired by miss beyonce again i say allegedly because i don't want to get fucking sued but there was this girl obsessed with a beyonce copy cat someone's private whatever and she was kind of insane um i kind of want to watch the show now that i think about it and there was a comment by 
It's kind of ironic that this comp was made by Paris Jackson, who is also black but is severely white passing. And basically, she made a comment that was like, I kind of feel like Halsey. <laughs> Lee Daniels. That wasn't Lee Daniels, was it? No, it wasn't Lee. I know it wasn't Lee Daniels. It was Challenge Gambino. Whoever wrote that line, why? Now listen, I know that shows take a long time to even be aired with the pilot and all that. Um, like look at the idol. The idol was a thing that was announced back in 2021. We didn't get it until summer 2023. I know there's a reason why. I knew about it back in 2011. It didn't come on until 2017. But why the really weird attack on Halsey? And why did she set up Paris like that? Because I feel like the character could have said it. And what, or like, or like, not what's, it's not Haley, Chloe Bailey's character could have said that. But for it to be by Paris, who was also another white passing black person. Oh my God, that was so embarrassing. I just, oh, ooh, I hope the check was fat. I really hope the check was fat. Um, we go on to fall 2023, where the war between It's Not Real and Palestine was making worldwide national news due to the fact that Palestine started to fight back on It's Not Real. And a lot of people started to question and be confused by Halsey's words or their of lack of. Now Halsey's a big activist and even previously she had spoken about freeing Palestine, also abortion rights, literally the um the Roe v. Wade turn happened on Halsey's tour. And if you've never been to this tour, basically there's a song called Nightmare which talks about women's rights. It's a bang. I need to put that song on my playlist. Why haven't I haven't listened to that song in a while now that I think about it? Um, there was just talk about abortions and Halsey has spoken about the fact that, you know, she has struggled with carrying her own child. And when this war was making worldwide national news, people were like, um, Halsey, you're this activist. Why aren't you saying anything? You've spoken up before, what's going on? And people also had looked into her brand about face, which is to make a brand that she launched back in like 2021 or 2022, somewhere around the time, because I think she had the baby. 2021, it was 2021. It was 2021, right, Maya? Yeah. People started to look into the fact that there is somebody who is an alleged Zionist that is on the team, and that's why Halsey couldn't speak out. But there was also people saying, well, the Hadid family got docs for defending Palestine, so maybe Halsey didn't want to get docs because she has a child, and that's not safe. Um, she ended up speaking out of fact that she has been silent, but I feel like now, now people are alleging that Halsey was probably going through her cancer treatments around this time, so... You know, there wasn't really, you know, I, listen, like I said before, I kind of just like look at artists and creators as people who are just contractually obligated to give me good music and a good tour with good prices. So, but I feel like, I, I feel like the people knew where Halsey stood, she just couldn't publicly say it. Anyways, we go on to 24. Oh, my lord. There was too much happening in 2024. And it all mostly revolved around her latest album, The Great Impersonator. It's, is it The Great or The Greatest? The Great. I knew I knew it. I fucking knew it, dude. So, Halsey started seizing the song, Lucky, which was hugely inspired by Britney Spears' song, Lucky. And I think it, it like, there's a sample of it. And I'm pretty sure Britney is credited on the song. Now, when Halsey started teasing the song, there was just a whole lot of fucking whole lot of, oh my god. And then when the song slash music video came out, it was alleged that Britney Spears herself spoke out about disliking the video and what it portrayed. I'm pretty sure that was fake or it was solved. Um, but let's just leave Britney alone. Let's just, the moment's allegedly moving to Mexico. Let's hope she's living her best life down there. Do you, Diva? And then when it came to teasing the album and who was inspired, who inspired some of the tracks, people had noticed that there was no black people that had inspired Halsey's latest tracks. There are people like Cher, David Bowie, Bruce Springsteen, and many more. But people were like, where, who inspired you that's black? You say so much that you're black, you're probably black. Where is the black inspiration? 
I didn't know, like, wh what are we talking, what are we talking about right now? And then when she said that she was inspired by Aaliyah, people were like, oh, this is who you pick? Th th this is what, I, I just, oh my lord, I don't think it was like a big uproar, but shut the fuck up, how about them apples? Then we go on to Pitchfork, which has this weird one-sided beef with Halsey. They previously talked about her album Manic. They had the right to call this album like pop or something, and it rated it like a low score, and basically was like, Oh, she's such, she's such a victim. Da, da, da. This woman was battling cancer while trying to take care of a child that she never thought she could have. And she's scared of the fact that she may die before this kid can even go to middle school. Of course, she's going to talk about her feelings. Like, it was so stupid because it's like, what are we even talking about? Artists write about shit they've been through and no one says a fucking thing. But this woman talks about the fact that she thought she was going to die before she saw 30. And people were like, oh, she's such a victim I don't know, she must be the victim so bad. she was the victim so badly what are we talking about right now just because someone is rich and famous does not mean that they struggle they don't struggle with things that us regular people deal with because no matter how rich you are you unfortunately may get a sickness you unfortunately may have unexpected health issues physical mental like what the fuck are we even talking about right now so yeah and Halsey she grew up. She she's she's mature. She's mature because the last time that Pitchfork talked about her album, she was just like, "Can they just shut up and raw?" It was kind of funny. But then on Twitter, she was like, oh, "Look at them. They're so kind. Look at this about my album." <laughs> yeah, Miss Halsey is that girl. Halsey, as of December of 2024, she is engaged to Avon Joga. That's not how I say his name. I hope I didn't like fuck it up that badly. Who of course played Becky Victorious. She is in remission. Taking care of her son. She's a mother, no drama. And during a show to promote the great impersonator, she had teased that she's going on tour in the summer of 2025. So are you gonna go? I don't see. I love Halsey. I just saw her I heard she's a star. Try my best to see artists that I've never seen before. Except for when it comes to Abel, Gaga, and Ariana. Because I need Redemption Eras for all of those shows. But, you know what? I'll be there. Let me not lie to myself. I'll be there. I didn't go to the LA Halloween show. So I will hopefully see you guys there. And I hope that you enjoyed this video and the mess that it is. I think this is the first in defense video where I've just had to be like, shut the fuck up. Like, I, I don't see both sides. I just, no, shut up. Like, shut up. Like, couldn't do it anymore but yeah i hope you enjoyed this video like come subscribe if you agree um comments any other controversies that i missed um i feel like i did did i miss something no oh people thought that now or never was a, a rihanna scrap rihanna's that girl so is halsey anyways stay strong stay safe yolo and i'll see you in the next one Bye.